Make your Tacoma look better. 10 ways to enhance the look of your Tacoma and prevent boredom. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. A little bit of the damage from the recent Texas freezing episode. Anyway, here are 10 ways to make your Tacoma look better, to enhance its appearance, and to prevent boredom. Now, what I'm talking about, if you're like me, you know, I've gone through a lot of vehicles in my time, and it's because sooner or later, I kind of get bored with it, right? So here are a few things that you can do to actually relieve that boredom some and make your Tacoma look better in the process. Gonna save you money overall, because let's face it, going out and buying a new truck every year gets to be rather expensive. So number one, new wheels and tires. This is actually number one and number two. You know, putting new wheels and tires on the truck makes it look completely different. You know, I can attest to that. I've done it on my recent 2018 and now my current 2020 Tacoma, as well as my wife's Wrangler over there and the Jeep Gladiator sitting out in the driveway. Nothing adds or changes the appearance of your truck like putting on new wheels and tires. It just kind of freshens it up a bit. Cost-wise, gonna run you somewhere south of $2,000. Of course, you can spend more, but you don't have to. Next up, number three, lift it. Now, you don't have to go nuts. You can do just a leveling lift, a two inch lift, something like that. Or if you want a little bit more like what I've done, I've got a three inch. It's actually three and a half in the front and two in the back, kind of trying to level it out just a little bit, but it makes a heck of a difference. It's amazing what lifting the truck just a little bit does. It gives you a whole new stance and kind of freshens it up a little bit. Cost-wise, shouldn't be much more than about $1,000. Unless you go crazy and you want to do a full suspension lift and leafs and all that stuff, then the sky's the limit. But you should be able to do it, parts and labor, for right around $1,000 or so. Next up, number four, headlamp conversions to LEDs. You know, there's nothing that makes a truck look more modern. If you have a late model truck, than putting LEDs in the headlights or changing the headlights altogether, right? And that's gonna be a bit more costly. I think to go to the pro headlights on this truck is probably gonna cost you somewhere between two and $3,000. I wouldn't go to that extent. I would just do number five, which is LED bulbs. Very simple to do. There are plenty of plug and plays out there. All you have to do is pull the old bulb out stick the new bulb in, this is with a wiring harness, of course, and then remount it into the headlight fixture and you're done. You'll have that LED look and it won't cost you a fortune. You should be able to do it for somewhere around 50 bucks or less. Again, like everything else, you can buy top of the line and go crazy and spend, I don't know, 300 bucks, but you really don't have to. Number six, light bars. Now these, it depends on what you're going to do with it, right? I mean, if you're an avid off-roader and you're out at camping at night or something like that, they're really useful for that. I also find them useful just kind of pulling into my own area at night, you know, up to the garage, up my street where I'm not blinding anybody in front of me. But you can also see that LED bar through the grill down there. So it enhances the look of the truck as well. Don't have to spend a fortune on this either. You should be able to do it for somewhere around 300 bucks, plus or minus, something like that. And it's a pretty simple install. You just pop the grill off the front, put a couple brackets in, and then wire it in. You can have a switch inside the cab, or if you're like me, you have the remote controlled accessory controller uh, and just connect it directly up to that. And then I can operate it inside the truck with just my little push pad. Pretty simple to do that way. Number seven, this one is very easy. Chrome blackout or debadge. Now, this depends on your taste, of course. Maybe you already have the chrome blacked out and you wanna go back to chrome. 
I don't know. If that's your thing, that's cool. You got to be you, right? But it's a pretty cheap thing to do. You can get overlays, black overlays, that go over all of the chrome badges. And again, like the wheels and tires and the lift, it makes an amazing difference on the truck itself. Just a little thing like that is going to change the whole outside appearance of the truck. One more thing I'll add to that, you can add the little black letters into the back on the tailgate where it says Tacoma. That makes a big difference too. Just makes the rear end pop a little bit. And who doesn't like their rear end to pop? I'm just saying. Anyway, cost on that uh, should be somewhere south of 50 bucks or free if you're going to debadge. I mean, you don't have to pay anything to pull the badges off, right? All you need is a little bit of heat maybe a hair dryer or the sun, the best way to do it. Let those badges heat up. You can pop them right off. You're going to have a whole new looking truck. Number eight, side rails or running boards. Now you may have these already, so you could just take them off. Again, you're going to have a whole new look on the truck. And to be honest, I kind of prefer the truck without them. If it wasn't for the convenience they add and the little bit of safety in the form of people in parking lots hitting those when they open the doors as opposed to hitting the side of your truck, I probably wouldn't have them at all. But either way, they come in handy for people getting in and out of the truck and they do have a different look as well. So you can add them, you can remove them. Either way, gonna make the truck look different. Cost on those somewhere between four and 600 bucks, depending on what flavor you get. Or again, free if you're gonna take them off. And you might even make a little money because you probably can sell yours on the used market. Number nine, spruce up the bed a little bit. You know, you've got this whole giant bed behind the truck and there's all kinds of things you can do with that. For example, you can put a tonneau cover on it. Again, gonna change the appearance of the truck. You can get a tonneau cover for somewhere under 200 or 300 bucks. Uh, rails, you can put side rails on, either on the inside of the bed or maybe down the top of the sides of the bed themselves. Um, a liner, spray-in liner. I would never go with a drop-in liner. It is the cheaper method, but eh, you get what you pay for there. Toolboxes, you can add a toolbox into the back of the truck. Not only is that gonna give you more storage, more lockable storage, but it's gonna change the appearance of the truck as well. For me, I would go with some kind of black diamond, something like that, as opposed to chrome. But if you're a big chrome fan, have at it. Uh, a sport bar, I did that recently on my truck. Of course, it changed the whole look of the truck. I love it. And it really did change my whole thought process when I look at the truck, right? Just felt like something new. All of that stuff you can do. Some of it's more expensive than others, but it will change the whole look of the truck. Number 10, front grill replacement. Now, I did that on mine. I have the TRD Pro Grill on mine. There are a myriad of other grills out there that you can get. Some with lights, some without lights, some with colors. I mean, you name it, you can get it. I believe there's even a few companies out there that will let you design your own as far as what it says in the front. A lot of people get Taco, of course, Tacoma, things like that. Um, Cost-wise, this grill, I believe, was somewhere in the $400 range, something like that. This is like everything else. You can pay less. I've seen the Pro Grill for some of the older late model tacos for under 200 bucks, or you could spend five, $600, depending on what you're gonna get and what you add to it. Again, gonna change the whole look on the front of the truck, and it's much cheaper to do something like that than going out, losing money, trading off your truck, and getting something new. Again, this is just a way to make your Tacoma look a little bit better. 10 ways to enhance your Tacoma's appearance and kind of relieve a little bit of that boredom that sometimes we get uh, because we've had it for a while and we start to see all those new flashy trucks out there, right? Leave a comment, let me know if you've done any of these things. If maybe you're a little bored with your truck and you're looking for something else to do. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Sport and the Honda Civic Type R. 
Check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.